Welcome everyone to another week in Trek. I'm Dan Gunther and this week was a banner week in the run-up to season five of Star Trek Discovery. We finally got a new trailer. Plus there are a number of new books and comics this week that you will want to keep an eye out for. You're the captain of the most important space station in the entire Federation. You're news. In a little over five weeks from now, the fifth and final season of Star Trek Discovery will be coming out, which means the timing is perfect for a new trailer, and Paramount has delivered. The trailer featured the typical end-of-series type sentiments and showcased some of the action that will be a part of the final season. There were also a few interesting easter eggs, as well as a surprising hint that we may be seeing the Mirror Universe play some role in Season 5. I did a detailed breakdown video of the trailer, which can be found by clicking the card in the video or the link in the description below. Along with the new trailer, Paramount also revealed several new pictures from Season 5, all of which can be found in the Trekcor article I've linked in the video description. Season 5 of Star Trek Discovery premieres on April 4th, and we'll be covering every episode as it comes out here on the channel. In other news this week, Star Trek Picard Season 3 showrunner Terry Metalis has been nominated for a Writers Guild Award for his work in the final season of Picard. Specifically, his nomination is for Best Writing in an Episodic Drama for The Last Generation, the Picard season finale. This is his first WGA nomination and only the fifth episode to be nominated for a WGA award in the history of the Star Trek franchise. There's only been one winner from Star Trek in WGA history, Harlan Ellison for his script for the classic TOS episode, The City on the Edge of Forever. The awards will be handed out on Sunday, April 14th at the Hollywood Palladium. Metallus is facing very stiff competition for this award and we wish him all the best. And finally, some very sad news this week, as we just learned before filming this video that Star Trek Discovery guest star Kenneth Mitchell has sadly passed away. He was diagnosed with ALS over five years ago, and in the time since, he has been battling this debilitating disease. He passed away on Saturday, February 24th, at the age of 49. I first saw Kenneth Mitchell in his role as Eric Green in the television show Jericho back in 2006. In Star Trek, he played the antagonistic Klingon Cole in Season 1 of Discovery. He returned in Season 2 to play the Klingons Cole Shaw and Tanavik. His final role in Star Trek was in Season 3 of Discovery, where he appeared for the first time without the Klingon makeup in the role of Aurelio. He also featured in a voice role as the Twirk captain in the Star Trek Lower Decks episode Veritas. Despite the awful challenges that ALS presented him, Kenneth Mitchell was always extremely positive and compassionate, showing enthusiasm and love for the fans of Star Trek at the many events that he attended. Star Trek was truly fortunate to have him as a part of the franchise, and he will be forever loved and deeply missed. Bridge? Well, I have a little work to finish up. Then I'm going to my cabin, I'm going to put my feet up, I'm going to turn on my personal relaxation light, and I'm going to lose myself in the pages of some old novel. We have several new releases this week, including a rarity these days, a new Star Trek novel. Tuesday, February 27th sees the release of the latest addition to the Star Trek literary universe, Star Trek Picard Firewall by David Mack. Here's the synopsis. Two years after the USS Voyager's return from the Delta Quadrant, Seven of Nine finds herself rejected for a position in Starfleet, and instead finds a new home with the interstellar rogue law enforcement corps known as the Fenris Rangers. The Rangers seem like an ideal fit for Seven, but to embrace this new destiny, she must leave behind all she's ever known and risk losing the most important thing in her life, her friendship with Admiral Catherine Janeway. Firewall is releasing in hardcover, ebook, and audiobook formats. I'll have Amazon links in the description below for each of those. We will be covering this novel on the Positively Trek Book Club podcast, including an interview with the author David Mack. Keep an eye out for that. Our episode with him releases on March 14th, just to give everyone a bit of time to read the novel. Also out on Tuesday is Star Trek Picard, The Art and Making of the Series by Joe Fordham. This hardcover book features an in-depth look at the making of Star Trek Picard, with interviews with showrunners, writers, cast, and crew, and spotlights on aspects of the production such as makeup, costumes, art, and visual effects. 
artists. The book boasts behind-the-scenes and on-set photography, production art, and beautiful illustrations. I will have links to purchase this gorgeous book from Amazon in the description below. We also have two new comics hitting shelves this week. First up is the final issue in the Star Trek Picard's Academy miniseries. Written by Sam Meggs with art by Ornella Greco, this six-issue series wraps up with Picard facing his most difficult test yet. Here's the synopsis. It's do or die for Picard and cadets in the finale of Picard's Academy. Romulans storm the ship while Starfleet remains out of reach and potentially unaware of the threat headed their way, but the cadets have finally come to an agreement, electing Jean-Luc to the captain's chair. They're finally willing to follow Picard's lead, and Picard is finally willing to acknowledge their feedback, now acting as a proper crew. But is it too late? Will Picard fail his crewmates once again and, worse yet, see the start of an interstellar war? So much for graduating early. Issue 6 of Picard's Academy is out on Wednesday, February 28th, along with Star Trek Defiant number 12. The voyages of Captain Worf and the ragtag crew of the Defiant continue in this issue, written by Christopher Cantwell and art by Angel and Zueta. Let's take a look. Original Star Trek Defiant writer-artist duo Christopher Cantwell and Angel and Zueta delve into the sci-fi horror genre in arc three of the fan-favorite series. Eager to move past the unofficial bounty hunting mission assigned to them by Starfleet, disgraced former ambassador and Starfleet legend Worf and his rogue crew make way for Starbase 99, a rundown remnant of the Dominion War, to complete their fugitive drop-off. The clandestine assignment has left them disillusioned with Starfleet and with one another, but a surprise awaits the defiant crew, threatening to tear the crew apart even further. Literally. I love the art on the covers for this issue, especially cover B by Rod Rice. Beautiful and disgusting. And that wraps things up for another Week in Trek. Thank you so much for joining me, and thanks as always to the Patreon supporters. If you'd like to help out the channel, please visit patreon.com slash kurtrats. To everyone else, thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe to keep up to date on the happenings in the Trek world each week, and click the bell for notifications for when new videos go up. Have a great week, see you next time, and live long and prosper.